Nigeria military raids bandit skin queen. Tuwaji hiders kills cause of bandits in Samfara, Sokoto Forest. My people, my people. Nothing we will not go see for this country. <laughs> anyway, let me welcome you back to this channel, guys. How are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. God bless you. Hope your Christmas is going well. In fact, let me wish you happy Christmas, okay? God bless you for being part of this channel. Guys, you see in Nigeria is everyday news story. We hear a couple of news on daily basis. Guys, things is really happening there. The ones we see, we are able to talk about them. But the ones you cannot see, guys, a lot is happening underground. These people knows what is happening. I mean the handlers of Nigeria. But the point is this. This is what they are doing themselves. They have an agenda. You know, before when people talk about that, there is a grand plan, a grand agenda against Nigeria. I look at it how, when, how would they fulfill this? But at a point, it gradually dawned on me that they have all accomplished their plans and many more. You see, if people tell you today or come up to tell you that Nigeria is under a net, under, under, you know, particular place, chained, you have no reason to argue it because what is coming out from there is much more than what you and I expect. You know what? What these bandits and all the rest of them, you know their name. There are very many of them from northern states, northern region, up to five or six uh, groups. The same agenda they have, the same pattern, the same, you know, plans. And they have decided to make Shegumi their patron. That is what is happening. And these people are saying it is, you know, the Shegumi only understands them. No other person do understand them. Guys, after reading you how things is going based on this particular news i will tell you why this news came up that nigeria military did this when they tell you a endeavor to scrutinize it watch very well before you speak because things is really happening on the ground what they are doing is damage control they do what they want to do they come aside to control it with propaganda and lies that is thinking Let's get the details before we do that. If you've not subscribed to this channel, guys, help us to grow this channel, okay? Be part of it and God will bless you. Your bell notification needs to be on for you to know when I will upload a new information or news. God bless you. Let's get the details. Nigeria military judge on Saturday braided the hideout of bandit kingpin Bello. Tuji and his gang killing scores of bandits in Zafara and Sokoto Forest. The news reads in parts. The Chora leader, Tuji, who operated in the northwest region, is said to have sustained life threatening injuries <laughs> when military fighter jet dreaded his hideout. Military sources said that the Air, Air Tax Force, ATF, Operation Hadirin, Daju, following intelligence, deployed fighter jets, which killed several bandits in their raid, carried out some forests in Zamfara and Sokoto State in the early hours of Saturday leadership report. Though the actual number of bandits killed in the airstrike could not be ascertained in the down operation, source, however, said several terrorists were killed while others fleeing were mopped up by grand troops of the Nigerian army in an ambush. Apart from spontaneous operation in Kastena and Zamfara, from 16th to 17th December 2021, airstrikes were conducted by NAF aircraft at bandit camps in Issa, Sabon, Bini, Aziz, and East Tozil, where several bandits were eliminated while others escaped in their disarray, a source said. A senior military source said that the joint operation by air and ground troops are yielding 
positive result. The source said the general officer commanding GOC led groups led the troops to the stronghold of the bandits in the Sokoto and Zamfara state. Why other same time multiple air raid in the military attack jets pounded the criminals bandits? Many of them were neutralized. Credible, uh, credible reports indicated that Tuji was badly wounded by <laughs> today's airstrike, and if not dead, there were civilians that were also set free after our military raid at the bandit forest camp. There may be likely to be collaborated and much more damages in communities where bandits are hide hiding and protected because some community leaders are reluctant to provide useful information on the bandit in the area the source said and the statement reads in conclusion <laughs> guys you see these people anytime they are being busted you will see them coming up with these pro propagandas you know why i'm saying this this information that came out now, let me tell us. There was a video that a notana made circulating all over the places. He brought out the picture of this particular Tujo Tuwajia. This Tuwaji, the, they said he's the head of the ISWAP doing all manner of things you are hearing happening in the north, that he is the one. And the notana so having you know, notice and single-handedly know who he is, they started asking a question to DSS. Why are they not arresting this guy? They know where this guy is. And they are all pampering it and to crown it all. This guy and his group wrote a letter to their so-called Buhari and other politicians in the north that they should dialogue with them Imagine terrorists looking for dialogue, dialogue for what? That they should dialogue with them, settle them, so that they will leave all these things they are doing. That it is only their patrons, Sheikh Gumi. This is a separate news now, but in a short while I will bring you that news. That is only Sheikh Gumi that knows them. After hearing or seeing that they wrote this letter, and people started speaking all manner of things, they now turned and said, they raided him. He was badly wounded. They captured this. They captured that. That is why I told you initially that what they are doing is damage control. They did nothing to these people. Even if they did, it was just to a, a, an eye service they did in order to shut up people because whom they are using has been single handedly brought to public. Did you? Get, are you getting the jeep now? That's why I tell you that. The only situation that will save Nigerian state as we speak is for everybody to go in mama way. Divide it so that the power which these people are using to gather momentum will be reduced and the Northerners will get themselves and every other region. Leave us a comment, guys. I would love to hear from you. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.